Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W38B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition and this is another video about item elevators. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, the classic item elevator design uh, that's uh, really popularly used, uh, the one designed by Test uh, 137E29, uh, that was broken in uh, a recent snapshot due to the fact that there was a fix for the collision box of fences. Uh, and, um, and so I designed a, a little bit of a fix for an item elevator that's uh, all the way down at bedrock. It's really far out of hearing range. So I was fine enough keeping this on a clock uh, with these alternating trap doors. Uh, this particular design was intended, uh, was basically because this one is uh, down at bedrock, I needed something that was flat. Well, let's turn this off. It's really noisy. Uh, I, I needed something that was flat. So, um, uh, but I've got another one of these item elevators that's um, uh, in earshot uh, to my base, and um, uh, sometimes I throw items in there. Uh, I want uh, that going to my item sorting system, uh, and I don't want that just continuously running. I don't want to hear trapdoors flapping all over the place, uh, and so um, I, I'm going to be modifying this one to use the classic uh, two-piston uh, design that was in use before JL's design. Uh, and this one, uh, I have a couple of blocks of space underneath, so, um, so that's okay. Uh, let me first get rid of these uh, fence posts that don't work anymore. Okay, And I'll put those blocks of glass back later. Um, and, and let me turn off this water source for the time being. All right, so uh, underneath uh, where those fence posts were, uh, they were right here. I want to put a couple of blocks. Uh, my pistons are going to go on top of these, and I'm going to uh, go over a couple more And because I'm going to place a third piston on the edge of this right here. So let me go ahead and add those pistons in. So piston right there and piston right there, and uh, let me add those blocks back and put the glass back. back. There we go. Uh, okay, so I've got two pistons there, and now I want to place that third piston, also pointing up, uh, but on the end here, right underneath there. And let me go ahead and put that uh, that block back. And now that you see that there's a little bit of a depression here, um, that is to prevent items. Uh, uh, basically, it pauses items before they can continue, just in case this piston is firing, because I don't want them firing. Uh, I don't want this piston firing while item, items are uh, going over the surface of this block. So uh, that's just a little bit of a trap there. Okay, and uh, because these pistons are not going to be continuously running on a clock, I need a way to detect the items as they're going across. Uh, and I can do that with a pressure plate. Uh, so I'm going to put a pressure plate right here. Um, however, uh, you can't put a pressure plate onto regular ice uh, because it doesn't have an opaque surface. Uh, so you have to use packed ice instead. Now the pressure plate is not going to stop items sliding across because it's um, it's a partially high block, so it has the same slipperiness as the block underneath, and uh, packed ice is slippery. So, uh, and I need to get a signal off of this uh, off of this pressure plate. Um, but first, let me uh, give myself a little bit of space down here. Okay, so my pressure plate is right there. There's the packed ice, and I'm pulling. I want to put a redstone torch on either side. And this piston right here, I'm going to activate uh, with an 8 tick delay. So I need two repeaters, both on 4 ticks. There we go, 4 ticks. And uh, this piston right here, I need to activate on a 4 tick delay. So I need one repeater there, and this piston over here, I want to activate also on a um, uh, four tick delay. So I'm going to activate it uh, this way, put a dot of redstone right there. And then I just need to wire up the uh, torches to the repeaters. Okay, um, this signal here is in inverted, it's on by default. Uh, so these blocks are closed uh, basically by default. Uh, and uh, this piston also is closed. And I need one more water source block in order to complete the stream here. And now this water is not going to be flowing unless these pistons are open. That's fine. 
And uh, I think that's it. Let me go ahead and throw an item there. There we go. It passes over the pressure plate. Uh, the pistons uh, all retract uh, and send the item up. Uh, at the same time it's sending the item up, uh, this piston also retracts and creates that little bit of a trap there to make sure that items aren't coming across uh, at the same time these, uh, this, these pistons over here are closing. Uh, now, I should mention, you saw that there's no item in there, and that's because it's on top. Uh, for some reason, with this particular design, uh, I've had to uh, build up my, uh, my collection point uh, by one more block, so there's an extra little bit of space. Uh, normally, just a half block. Uh, I've never had a problem with that, uh, but for this, uh, for this uh, particular design, I, I need a little bit of extra space up at the top. Uh, now, when I throw it in... And it goes up, and there it is in the chest. So uh, this works uh, with uh, um, multiple different types of items. It works with stacks of items. Um, it seems to be pretty stable. I haven't uh, had any problems with the timings down here, um, although I have to admit that I haven't experimented a whole lot with this, this particular design yet. So I think that is it then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a note in the comments, and thank you for watching.